Good evening everyone. Today we will uh, fight against Adma's character of our world, this time in the field of heroic fantasy literature. Uh, the, there was a British writer uh, who lived uh, since 1948 and he died uh, in 2006 and he produced about 30 books, mainly heroic fantasy from the genre heroic fantasy and historical fantasy. One of his books he produced is entitled Echoes of the Great Song. This book is about a post-catastrophic world in which the group of people who had power and possessed the secret of immortality that was manifested by uh, having some specific crystals that were giving immortality to these people and the other people who didn't have this secret and we can guess that these people who didn't have this secret of immortality were were treated not in the best way but by the people who had this secret of mortality okay and uh, the novel actually has a very interesting plot Characters are not shallow, they are quite well constructed, we have interesting uh, literary char characters from both sides of the front, let's say, or from every group of people presented in this book. I really enjoy it, Echoes of the Great Song by David Gemmel, as many others, other novels by this author, and his books were published uh, very often in the form of massive paperbacks, but I can guarantee to all of my listeners that despite the fact they were published as massive paperbacks, they are not massive. If you, we read their content, they deliver very nice entertainment and also uh, convey a very important message to the readers who read them. One of the messages uh, this novel, Echoes of the Great Song, delivers to its readers is that people who have too much power and prosperity, they degenerate with time, morally and physically. Actually, uh, the uh, community that, were, that was possessing these crystals giving immortality are, are called avatars. So-called avatars have typical features of society degraded because of the prosperity and they resemble uh, I, I don't know if it was the main idea of the author while he was writing this book, but in my, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the uh, template for creating the avatars for David Gemmel were actually opulent, modern opulent societies of mainly Western Europe, some regions in the United States, and uh, of course from uh, some regions of distant Asia, uh, Far East, that are affected by the mm, luxurious, not so worrisome life and uh, they of course are losing willingness to uh, produce more offspring and are becoming more lazy but at the same time greedy for luxurious goods and also willing to have somebody to do work for them. Other side of people who are not possessing this uh, secret of immortality and are not living in so well conditions is also portrayed uh, very wisely that they are not so they are not only oppressed people who are uh, always good and 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 and, and. so uh, the portrait of the characters of two groups of people presented within this novel it's not uh, black and white which I find as a very big plus for this novel. Uh, that's why uh, I really like, I really enjoyed re reading this book and it shows us how actually man is changed upon the conditions uh, he uh, encounters uh, in life. And this novel uh, manifests a nice uh, view on modern civilizational problems and uh, reading such content could 
allow us understand uh, allow us to understand better the uh, complex uh, relations between different societies nowadays and not seeing them only like poor uh, poor bad refugees and very bad and opulent greasy people from rich countries it's not alike A reading of such uh, books gi gives us good ba uh, basic platform to start our journey to understand the reality around us better have a nice night goodbye